Hey guys, Yasil here, back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at a DIY motion sensor light that I built. Um, it's a very crude design at the moment. I, I don't have a decent enclosure for it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to quickly take you through what I've done uh, to build this. So the, the design is pretty simple. Um, it's all based off uh, the a battery holder, which is my favorite uh, 18650 uh, battery holder. So this battery can actually come off just like this. So this is a normal 18650 lithium ion battery cell that I uh, salvaged from a laptop battery pack. Um, and the idea was to to make a motion sensor light um, as as tiny as possible, um, and this this what uh, this was uh, what was the result. So uh, what I have here is the uh, popular TP four five six lithium ion uh, you know charge and discharge projection board, um, and then I have a, a boost converter that uh, takes the the battery's uh, nominal voltage from three point seven to uh, five volts and it provides and it's provided via a USB port um, so I, I bought quite a few of these guys um, uh, these USB LEDs and they, they, they have been proven to be quite useful uh, so the idea is you can plug in uh, any one of these uh, you know these these lamps um, and it'll turn on if there's it's there's motions picked up by this um, uh, passive infrared sensor so um, this passive infrared sensor is the um, SR, I mean HCSR501. Uh, it's a popular, very, very popular uh, motion sensor you can find on AliExpress or Banggood. Uh, and they're dirt cheap. Uh, you can pick up quite a few of these for, for, for a few dollars. So yeah, sorry. So what's happening here is the um, I've got the output uh, of the passive infrared module uh, going into a, um, I think this is a, uh, a hundred ohm resistor. I'm not sure. I must. I need to double check. Uh, but the output is connected to via resistor to the uh, base of a uh, NPN transistor. I'm using a BD139 uh, transistor. Um, it just allows for a bit more current to go through than your regular uh, BC547. Uh, uh, so that's going to go into the base, and then it's going to allow for current to flow uh, from you know between the uh, collector and the emitter. Um, and that's connected to the boost converter that's going to provide, uh, you know, a current to whatever's connected here. Okay, cool. So now I have it connected. Um, and this motion sensor isn't the most uh, accurate at sensing motion sometimes. Um, I have had trouble with, with, it, with it in the past where it would take a while before it'll actually switch on. Uh, so let's, let's see. I, I've set the... The timing on this uh, infrared module to to reset after a few seconds, um, and if it if it continuously senses motion, it'll it'll stay on. The LED will will stay on. Um, so I'm just going to wait for it to time out, and then move my hand in front of it so it hopefully comes back on. And oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's it. It's a pretty pretty simple design. Oh. I I did add a heatsink, um, although I'm not so so sure it would be necessary, uh, considering that this this light will only be um, will only be on for a few seconds uh, at a time. And I was actually hoping to use this as a, 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 you know at the front door. So if you're coming home at night, you you uh, you'll be able to see your keys when you're opening the door. Um, so this was just an extra uh, just an extra additive to to uh, to add the um, the heatsink. Um, I did use a very, very uh, uh, <laughs> cheap way of of, uh, yeah, of an enclosure for this. So this is a actually a vitamin C tablet um, uh, container uh, that I've very, very untidily wrapped in uh, a heat shrink and cut a little uh, like a square hole at the bottom there. Um, so the motion sensor can stick out a bit, and then uh, let's do this. I had it drained this way, yeah. So very, very untidy, but uh, it just made it easier for it to for you to um, leave it standing somewhere. So obviously, uh, ideally, I'd like to three D print a decent uh, case for this. Um, but this this took me a few hours to put together. It was quite a fun fun project. I had the parts lying around, and I figured out, you know, why not? 
So cool. I, ho I hope this was helpful. Um, if uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, leave leave some comments in the you know in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.